what's up everybody it's jamal bevels jr co-founder and head of sql studios here at sql uh, and today i'm going to show you guys how to use our sql media presets in adobe lightroom classic adobe lightroom and adobe media encoder let's get into it well first things first what you're going to want to do is pop that sd card out what you want to do next is find your sd card reader or the reader in your computer and insert your sd card so once you have inserted your SD card in your computer, what you want to do is wait for those files to appear. Um, and I have already gone and dragged and dropped these onto my desk drive. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that and locate those files. So boom, once I have those files located, uh, what I'm going to do is now open up Adobe Media Encoder. Wait for that to open up. All right, so once you have Adobe Media Encoder open, what you want to now do is find your SQL Media Compressor file. It's going to be an EPR file, which stands for External Procedure Report. Go over into your preset browser and you're going to find a folder with a arrow that points to the right. What you want to do is click that arrow, find your SQL Media Compressor file, open it, which will import it, and that's it. So what you now want to do before you drag and drop your assets into the queue is take SQL Media Compressor Preset and drag and drop it into this queue over here. What this will now do is tell Adobe Media Encoder this is the preset that you would like to use. It's very important that you drag and drop this preset over into Adobe Media Encoder queue before you do anything else. Now what you want to do is go to all the files that you wish to compress. I'm going to hit Command A, which will allow me to select them all. Select them and drag and drop them into the left hand side that says drop here to add separate resources or separate sources, which is telling Adobe Media Encoder that you want to export all these files out individually. So once you drag and drop it, you're going to let Adobe Media Encoder do its thing. So we'll sit here and wait for all of them to import. Now what this is going to do is compress each file and allow us to upload it to our SQL videographer portal. Um, so now we're going to play the waiting game again. Uh, and wait for these to compress each file um, and export out. All right, now that your files have been compressed, what you want to do is open up your browser and you want to head to videographer.sql.com. What you'll do is you'll put in your login information. And once you log in, you want to find uh, the bit name, city, sport, and gender that you need to upload to. And if you're uploading videos and images, in our case, we're going to be uploading videos. So what I'm going to now do is find my file. And what I want to do is hit Command A and drag and drop those videos into uh, the uploader. And again, we will play the waiting game and wait for these to finish uploading. All right, so we are done. So what you will see is a bunch of green check marks, uh, meaning that uh, it is successful. So what you can do is click done. Um, and this is what the uploader should look like after you've successfully uploaded and compressed your video file. So, all right, so that is it for this tutorial for Adobe Media Encoder. And remember, sports equality starts now.